So what are literacy narratives? Let's have some definitions and ideas. In general, a literacy narrative is a personal account about any event involving reading or composing. When people tell their literacy stories, they may talk about how they learned to read and or compose. They may talk about a memorable reading or composing event in their lives. Or they may talk about how reading and composing continues to play a role in their lives. Or they may talk about how they or others value reading or composing. Literacy narratives take the form of short videos or alphabetic texts or audio essays or multimedia essays, any form. In this section, you're going to look at some sample literacy narratives. You're going to be encouraged to tell your own literacy story and to upload that liter literacy story to the digital archive of literacy narratives. We encourage individuals to use and modify any of the handouts or documents in this project for the purposes of their own projects, attributing this iTunes course appropriately. Now following are some ideas that have helped us divine literacy narratives when we help people contribute their narratives to the digital archive of literacy narratives. A literacy narrative is a personal story about reading or composing or teaching reading or composing or learning reading and composing in any form or context. Literacy narratives can be long or short, two minutes or 25. Literacy narratives can be about your experiences as a small child, a teenager, and an adult, or a senior. Literacy narratives can be about reading stories, books, cereal boxes, music, video game cheats, anything at all that you read, or any story about teaching reading or learning reading. Literacy narratives can be about composing letters, Facebook pages. No. Literacy narratives can be about composing letters, Facebook pages, song lyrics, zines, blogs, maps, essays in school, anything at all that you compose or any story about reading or writing. Literacy narratives can be sad or happy, poignant or funny, informative or incidental. Literacy narratives often focus on very powerful memories about events, people, situations, or places and times when you tried and succeeded or tried and failed to read or write. Someone who gave you a chance or took one away as you were trying to read and write. Situations where someone taught you how to do something like reading or writing, or taught, or when you taught someone else. Churches and schools, contests and performance, plays and public presentations. Anything at all to do with reading or composing. Here are a few ideas to get people started in telling their stories. Have you ever written a goodbye letter, a love letter, a poem, a novel, a history, or an email message that made you blush? Did you ever win or lose a crucial public debate? Did you ever forget your lines in a play, learn American Sign Language? Did you bond with Dick and Jane or the Hardy Boys? Did you learn to read by studying the back of a cereal box? Do you remember the first time you thought of yourself as a writer? When you got or lost your first library card? The bedtime stories your parents used to read to you? Your favorite book? Or have you ever felt illiterate? Can you tell us a story about a time when you were punished for reading or for not reading? A time when you were rewarded for writing insightfully? Can you tell us a story about the first time you ever used a computer? The first email message you ever composed? Your first Facebook po page? The first tweet? The first video you uploaded to YouTube? Do you have memories about playing teacher with your friends, creating a family newspaper or a zine, reciting scripture to the congregation of your church or at your bat mitzvah, reading the Koran? Was your mom or dad or one of your grandparents a writer or a reader? Can you tell us a story about how they helped you read or write? Would you like to read, listen to, or look at some example narratives? 
because before you ask people to tell a literacy narrative, you might want to see a few of these narratives. In the assignments below, we provide sample narratives that might be useful in this regard, and we identify some additional narratives in the digital archive of literacy narratives that might be of interest. Of course, you'll want to start by telling your own story. You'll want to tell and record your narrative before you ask others to tell theirs. It will help you understand how the process unfolds. It's not always easy to identify a story that you want to tell or one that you think might be of interest to others. You'll need to think about an experience that's worth recounting. In the assignments below, we give you some help in that regard and we provide directions for recording your own literacy narrative.